Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the Acme screw interacting with the extruder gearbox and how it should not be spinning. Uh, if this is spinning, which I'm going to turn this on in just a moment, this means that the anti-rotator is not attached to the machine or it is just sitting on the table like this in this example. So uh, you can hook the extruder up to the printer and run the prime program or if you have a standalone motor driver, which we're going to be using in this example, you'll be able to see the Acme uh, screw spin. So I've added a piece of tape here so we can visualize this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit run. So you can see that th the screw is actually spinning. And so it is spinning uh, in turn with the brass nut that is inside the gearbox. Uh, this is not normal operation. You can just do this as a diagnostic method to confirm that the motor and gearbox are working correctly. For normal operation, you must place on the anti-rotator onto the extruder. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. I'm gonna put on the anti-rotator. Trying to get a good shot for the tape there. And when I turn this back on, which I just did now, the tape is no longer spinning, but it is actually moving away from the gearbox adapter there. So if you see there as a close up, this moves very, very slow. So it is moving away. As you can see, the gap is getting bigger and bigger here. So before it was nearly touching, now it is about half my finger length away. And now it's uh, about three quarters of my finger length away. Now it's almost the whole finger length away. So this is normal operation. And as I said, just for diagnostic, I'm now gonna go remove the anti-rotator and this is spinning in place again. So that's just how the operation of how a screw should not be spinning. If the screw is spinning, it's not gonna be actuating up or down and it should never really be spinning in the first place. The only time it should be spinning is when you are using an Acme driver tool to move the screw in and out of the extruder. Thank you.